Kia ora everyone, today we're going to learn about movement and what makes things move. So what exactly is movement? Movement is when an object changes its position. It could be fast or slow, up or down, straight or in circles. But what makes things move? Let's find out. When you push or pull on an object, it moves. These are called forces. A push sends an object away from you while a pull brings it closer. For example, when you push a swing, it moves forward. But when you pull a door, it moves towards you. See this child pushing the cart? That's a push force at work. If you were to pull the cart instead, it would come toward you. Now, let's talk about something very important, the force of gravity. Gravity is the force that pulls everything down toward the earth. It's what makes apples fall from trees and keeps us from floating away into space. Without gravity, things would just drift around. In space, there's very little gravity, so astronauts float. But here on Earth, gravity pulls everything down, making sure we stay on the ground. Now, have you ever noticed that some things slow down and stop even after you push them? That's because of friction. Friction is a force that happens when two surfaces rub against each other. It makes moving things slow down or stop. When you slide down a playground slide, friction between the slide and your clothes slow you down just a bit. If the slide was super smooth, you'd go even faster. But if it were rougher, you'd go slower. Here's another example. A toy car moves faster on a smooth floor, but slows down on the carpet because there's more friction. Friction can be helpful too. It stops cars when they break and lets you walk without slipping. So to recap, movement is when objects change position. Forces like pushing and pulling make things move. Gravity pulls everything down to the ground and friction slows things down or helps them stop. Now you know the basics of movement and the forces behind it. Keep exploring and observing how things move around you. Kakite anō.